What up, y'all? It's Omar Benson Miller, aka Big O. Y'all know me from the movies. And uh, y'all need to keep watching What You Need TV if you know what's good for you. Man, Eminem, 8 Mile, this dude, I swear, like, this this dude was, was I mean, I don't want to say he upstaged Eminem, but, like, you just oh. knew, you just, you just knew this dude was there, you know? Like, it was oh. just obvious, you know? I love you, Eminem. Yeah, I love you, too. I'm, I'm going to get, I'm going to get it for that, aren't I? <laughs> nah, nah, man. <laughs> Shady, calm down. He's all right now. <laughs> so what have you been up to, man? You, you, it seems like you've, like been under a rock and you're gonna like fourth of july pop out like fireworks or something i mean what's going on could be more like the uh third of october i've just been i was laying low for a minute and then i started uh working on some movies that are important really important films i got two movies coming out in october back-to-back -back weekends one of them is called the express uh it's the life story of ernie davis which is arguably who is who is who is arguably the uh the best college running back of all time. He was the first African American to win a Heisman Trophy, okay. and it's a, yeah, it's a really special story that hasn't been told. And um, you know, that it, it's a, gonna be a really big movie. It stars Rob Brown, Dennis Quaid, Charles Dutton, myself, Darren Henson. Um, it's coming out October third, and then I did the banger of all bangers. I got a movie coming out on October tenth. It's gonna be the best movie of the year. The, uh, Spike Lee's new movie. It's called Miracle of Santa Ana, and it's a war film about the Buffalo Soldiers, about the black soldiers who have been continually left out of Hollywood cinema and all of these award-winning World War II films. And it's about these four guys who get separated from their company and they have to uh, decide whether or not they're gonna go back to that company which treats them like less than men or live in the mountains of Italy with this village and these villagers that they've met when they receive a lot of love. And yet there's Nazis popping out everywhere and it's a, it's a dangerous thing. Sounds like some strong parts. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's, it's some serious business going on this year. I'm, I'm turning it up. It's time to explode. It's really time to get on the scene and blow up on them. Now, you're, you're in a lot of big movies. You're working with a lot of big people. From everything you've done, what have you learned thus far? You know, like starting back from when you were doing trying to get into movies yeah. to where you're now. New TV on the red carpet with Crush Magazine behind you. What up, Easy Crush? WTV. Big love to you know, Crush. Barbara Sanchez, it's her birthday. Big love to Barb for her birthday. What's up, man? man she just pops up. And pops, pops oh, up. Give us two. What's good? Yeah. I'm all right. You all right? Thanks for making appearance and grinding. No, nah, yeah, no you question. Know? No question. That's my man. Big shout out to Lawrence Adiza. Yes, LA. Yes. No doubt. Grinding. No Bones. Bones. How'd you feel when New York cut you? Honestly, man, it was like freedom, you know, it was like getting out of jail. I felt like a free man again, and I was uh, able to escape away from that witch, her bad breath, and her hideous weaves, you know what I mean? I'm joking, I really love you, New York, but shit, you know, business... <laughs> you, saw, you saw our interview with our commentator, right? She walked right away from her, like right in the middle of a, of a question. Yes, I did. That was very... You were there, actually. I, I was there, I was there. But you know what? When, you, when you're a, a diva queen like that, you can pretty much do whatever you want, so, you know... She can't do whatever she wants to me, but, you know, whoever else. So we'll just leave it at that. 